Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So in 2022, all masters eventually hit the codec for online uh, distribution. So one may ask a question, what would be a safe uh, limiter ceiling uh, then? So in this video, I'm showing you my way to approach this issue. So before we start, please remember, if you have a MIG that you need mustard, request a quote at bsmastering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. And now, let's get to the video. It doesn't matter what uh, someone uh, advises you to do. Set your limit and ceiling to 0 dB or minus uh, 0.1 dB or set it to minus 1 dB. You may ask five different people and get different answers and maybe all of them are wrong and sometimes all of them are right. The topic is really complex because it depends on so many factors, especially what you do with your mix and uh, what it is for. So rule number one, don't ask what to do and instead ask why to do. This is very important. Over the years I've moved uh, from minus 0.2 to minus 0.3 to minus 0.5 and now even to minus 1 dBFS. It of course depends on the project but that's becoming more of the norm now. You need to know that uh, as a must, and it's been always uh, this way, I do all the limiting and uh, sample rate conversion in 32-bit floating uh, point. And um, I leave enough headroom to avoid always after sample rate conversion. I only did the to 24-bit or 16-bit at the very last uh, step when no more processing is needed, including fades, cross fades, gain changes, or any uh, plugin processing. So you have to remember that there are several reasons why we may have always, even if we uh, set the limiter output level from uh, minus 0.1 to minus 0.5 dB. So first uh, reason is the sample rate conversion, because we may not leave enough headroom that can create always when we convert from a higher sample rate to um, 44.1. Second uh, reason is when we are dithering to 16-bit before the sample rate conversion. This way we are opening a can of uh, worms. Third reason is because peak levels rise again when the master waves are converted to MP3 or AC or other lossy formats. Now let me show you guys uh, what tools I use to properly control uh, these overshoots. So my first tool is my uh, Diameter Mark II, which uh, literally helps me uh, live inside the mix headroom. With this meter, I intuitively feel how much space I have to play with. By setting my personal target loudness level and the true peak uh, threshold, I can easily check and control overshoots. The meter, of course, works well in combination with uh, various limiters. Uh, today I will show you how it works with Sonox Oxford limiter, which is one of my favorite digital limiters. And uh, please note that limiting is not meant to make things louder. It is a way to um, stop overs that would uh, create distortion. It's a safety mechanism. Now, as for the Sonox limiter, usually I set my threshold at uh, minus 0.3 dB. It means that the limiter will start working at uh, minus 0.3 dB. It is very close to the ceiling and we will have the action depending on how hard our signal is pushing against the ceiling. It depends on the structure of our input signal, of course. In any case, we will definitely have uh, some overs. 
Um, therefore, additionally, I set the output trim reduction at minus 0.3 dB also. Now, uh, theoretically, we should have minus 0.6 dB in overall, but since we will uh, again have some occasional overshoots, which is normal, we will uh, finally end up with uh, minus 0.5 or minus 0.4 dB of headroom. Now let me show you how it works in practice. So and now let me play this uh, track, but with uh, no uh, sound, just for you to see what uh, it is happening. Um, now uh, what uh, I'm going to do, I start uh, cranking up the input so far that occasionally hit against my virtual ceiling and control it on my meter. I don't want to see red zone uh, always constantly. I hope uh, you get the point. At the same time, I control that the highest peaks I'm hitting on my limiter should be no more than 2 dB of uh, gain reduction. As you can see now, I'm uh, around uh, minus uh, 12 laughs on my meter. It is my target loudness for online uh, distribution. And if, if uh, it is for online distribution, there's no reason to crank it up uh, further. It makes no sense uh, at all. So to have minus 0.4, minus 0.5 dB output level is a very good uh, orientation. Uh, what I want to tell you is that the headroom you apply for your final master always needs to be aligned with how hard you smash your signal against the ceiling. Uh, and it is therefore very crucial to control your peak structure properly. In uh, 2022, all our masters finally hand on for encoding and online uh, distribution. That is why finally I use Sonox Fraunhofer codec to check and see if my final wave master is going to clip after MP3 or AC encoding. I can uh, load in up to five different codecs and compare them by toggling the monitor. I see here the potential distortion when I have a hot master. Once I don't see always here, I'm good off. And I just, um, I just want to be sure that uh, my master sounds great at uh, 256 AC uh, resolution. Lower quality is up to the customer. 